Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss array and function example. So, the next example we are going to discuss here is linear search using array and function. So, what do you mean by search in the sense? If you are giving an array of elements and if you have entered one key element to check whether it is present in the array or not, the program will search the key element in the array element by element and it will return whether that particular element is present in the array or not. So, that is the logic of search. So, here if you are considering this linear is the user defined function and here we are passing three parameters. One is key and another one is the array and then the number of elements in the array that is n value and this is the function declaration. And inside the main function we have declared the integer variable position. So, what is the position the search is found? That is a key element found in which position? So, that is nothing but position, key, the search element, array, i is the variable used in for loop, n is the number of elements present in the array. Initially, we have to get the n value, how many elements we are entering into the array. So, n value if we are considering, for example, we will take 5 elements. Then, Using the for loop, enter the five elements using the scanner statement. So, if you are entering in the sense a of 0th position, some element. So, a of 0 to a of 5. So, totally we have entered n value is 5. So, five elements it will accept from the user. So, starting array location is a of 0 and last location is a of n minus 1. n value is 5 in the sense 5 minus 1, 4. Is always you need to remember. Array will start from 0th location and the last location is n minus 1. Now enter the elements. For example, 16, 40, 12, 20 and 35 we have entered. So this is the array of elements we have entered. So from this array, if you are giving the key value in the sense, it will search in the array and it will return which position the key element is found. Suppose, if you have entered any element that is not present in the array in the sense, the program will return key element not found in the array. Okay. So, here we need to enter the key element. So, any key element we can able to enter. And here this is the function call. This is a user defined function. We are sending three parameters. One is key value. Another one is a. For example, key value I will enter here is 20. Okay, and n value is 5 we have entered here. And the array is, this is the array, a of 0 to a of 4 position. Now, we will check with the logical user defined function. So, what is the array we have entered? a of 0, a of 1, a of 2, this is a of 3 and a of 4. The elements we have entered is 16, 40, 12, 20 and 35. Okay. So, so, from the function called, it will send three parameters. So, what is the key element we have entered? That is 20. And a is nothing but this complete array. And n is nothing but 5 we have entered. Okay. So, now all three parameters we have sent from the calling function to the called function. So, with the help of these values, it will execute here. Okay. So, Declare i as integer variable and this is the logic of this for loop. And the for loop if you are considering from the first iteration, i value is 0. Okay. And i less than n. So, 0 less than 5 condition true. So, inside the for loop we have used one if statement that is if key. Key value is 20. If 20 equal to a of i position i is 0. So, in a of 0 position value is 16 condition phase. Okay. Then, it won't execute this return statement. Control goes to for loop and the next iteration of for loop will execute. So, next iteration i gets incremented to 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5. Condition true. Then, this if statement if 20 key element equal to a of 1 position, what is the value? 40. Condition fails. Okay. So, control goes to next iteration of 4. So, next iteration. 
i gets incremented to 2. Check the condition 2 less than 5. Condition true. And if key value is 20 equal to 12. That is A of second position value was 12. Condition fails. Okay. And control goes to the next iteration of forward. Then the fourth iteration I is equal to 3. I is incremented to 3. Check the condition whether 3 less than 5. Condition true. A 20 equal to in A of 3 position what is the value? 20. Condition true it will return i. So, it will return i is 3. So, it will return 3. Okay. And this 3 will be returned to the main function. And there it will execute key element found in the array. Suppose if you have given the key element 60. Okay. So, 60 is not present in this array. So, in this first iteration, it will check whether 60 is present in the array. Second iteration, it will check. Third iteration, it will check. Fourth iteration, it will check. Again, the fifth iteration also, it will check. Okay. So, i is equal to 4. Check the condition 4 less than 5. Condition true. It will check whether if 60 equal to in A of 4 position, what is the value? 35. Okay. Condition fails. 60 is not equal to 35. And then next iteration if you are considering, i gets incremented to 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition fails. Okay. So now this for loop will terminate. And the control goes to this return statement. And this will return minus 1. If it returns minus 1 in the sense, it will print the key element not present in the array. Now, the search in the array is over. Totally 5 elements only. All the 5 elements we have compared with the key element. So, we have not found the key element. So, it will return minus 1. And the control goes to the main function. And there it will print the key element not found in the array. Okay. So, likewise, if you are entering the key element, the key element will be compared with each and every element present in the array. Suppose, if the key element is present in the first array location, first itself we got the result in the sense, it won't do comparison with the remaining elements. Directly, it will return key element found. Okay. If the key element is present at the last location in the sense, all these elements will be compared, then only it will found the key element. Okay. Then it will return the position. Okay, so if the key element is present in the first location in the sense only one comparison, only one iteration of for loop is enough. Suppose if the key element is present at the last location in the sense all the previous elements should be compared, then only it will found the key element. Okay, suppose in the array if you are considering there are two similar elements in the sense and the key element is also the same element in the sense. The first comparison it will found the first element in the sense that will only it will return. Okay, it won't compare the next element that you need to remember. So, if you are considering the efficiency of the program, if the key element is present in the first location in the sense, only one iteration it will execute, so the execution time will be reduced. Okay, only one comparison is enough. Suppose if the key element is present at the last array location in the sense, all previous elements should be compared, then only it will found the last location element. So, the maximum number of comparisons is required. And in this case, if you are considering, efficiency will be reduced. Okay. Similarly, if the key element is not present in the array also, need to do all the comparisons. Okay. In that case also, efficiency will be reduced. So, best case in the sense, if the key element is present in the starting location in the sense, that is the best case complexity. So, this is the logic of linear search example with the help of array and function. And here also, we are sending the whole array, not individual array element. So, in this session, we have discussed linear search example with logic using array and function. In the next session, we will check with binary search example using array and function. Thank you for watching this video. 